Luke Letlow was born on December 6, 1979 to Diane and Johnny Letlow. Letlow was a ninth generation Louisianan from Start in Richland Parish and attended Start Elementary, Washita Christian High School, and was a graduate of Louisiana Tech University in Ruston, earning a bachelor's degree in computer information systems in 2003. A lifelong Republican, Letlow has served most recently as Chief of Staff for Congressman Ralph Abraham throughout his term in Congress since since 2014. Letlow previously served the special assistant to Governor Bobby Jindal from 2008 to 2010, as well as district director in Louisiana's first congressional district from 2004 to 2007. Letlow also worked in the private sector in Shreveport, Louisiana and Denver, Colorado from 2010 to 2014. He was also an elected delegate to the Republican National Convention in 2016 and 2020. On December 5th, Letlow won the runoff election for Louisiana's 5th Congressional District, and on December 19th, Letlow's team announced he was positive for COVID-19. Two days later, the team told us he had been admitted to Oshner LSU Health in Shreveport for treatment, and on December 29th, his team announced Letlow's passing from complications related to COVID-19. Letlow had just celebrated his 41st birthday on December 6th. Letlow's team releasing a statement saying Congressman-elect Luke Letlow passed away this evening at Oshner LSU Health Shreveport due to complications from COVID-19. Letlow is survived by his wife, Julia Barnhill Letlow, and two young children. The family appreciates the numerous prayers and support over the past days, but asks for privacy during this difficult and unexpected time. Elected leaders across Louisiana also share in their condolences on the night of Letlow's passing. Louisiana Governor John Bell Edwards saying, It is with heavy hearts that Donna and I offer our condolences to Congressman-elect Luke Letlow's family on his passing after a battle with COVID-19. COVID-19 has taken taking Congressman-elect Letlow from us far too soon. I am heartbroken that he will not be able to serve our people as a U.S. representative, but I am even more devastated for his loving family. Governor Edwards has ordered flags to be flown at half-staff on the day of Congressman-elect Letlow's funeral. Louisiana U.S. Senator Bill Cassidy releasing a statement to Twitter. Leaving behind a beautiful wife, a widow, two young, young children. Remember them all in your prayers. Um, just, 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 just brings home. COVID can kill. Most, for most folks, it doesn't but it truly can. Just a few weeks before Letlow died, we had the chance to interview him moments after his win for 5th Congressional District. Letlow saying then he was eager and ready to walk the halls of Congress and be a leader for Louisiana. Well, I'm going to, uh, again, be able to hit the ground running. Uh, so much of what uh, Congressman Abraham already had in place is going to be great in terms of uh, moving forward. Our staff largely is, uh, remains intact that uh, we had before. Uh, but I'm also going to focus on, you know, how do I make sure I'm well positioned to be able to get on a good committee that impacts this district. Already making phone calls to do that, you know, to get on the radar of some of these other uh, members of Congress who are in leadership. Uh, and I want my time to count. You know, if I'm going to uh, go in every week to Washington, D.C. and represent this district, I'm not going there to get the headlines or the sound bites. I want results. That's why I'm doing this. Luke Letlow was set to replace Congressman Ralph Abraham in the 5th Congressional seat, Abraham giving advice to Letlow on the night of his win. Luke already has the knowledge. Look, he understands everything about the 5th District, and he is willing to learn even more. But we've already had the discussions. He, We grew up together in Congress, literally. So he understands the veterans issues, he understands the military issues, the agriculture issues, the economic issues. He knows how important it is to bring jobs back to Louisiana. As news continued to break about the congressman-elect, more condolences came in from Louisiana representatives. Louisiana Attorney General Jeff Landry issuing a statement, Luke Letlow led an honorable life in public service to our state and our nation. Luke was a true statesman committed to making Louisiana better. Luke's death is a great tragedy, and Sharon and my prayers are with Julia and the kids. Louisiana State Senator Stuart Cathy saying, Tonight, Louisiana lost a true public servant who truly loved Louisiana and her people. I have known Julia and Luke for many years, and my heart breaks for Julia, 
the kids, their families, friends, and our community. We are going to miss him immensely. And finally, Louisiana Congressman Mike Johnson. Luke had such a positive spirit, and he had a tremendously bright future ahead of him. He was looking forward to serving the people of Louisiana in Congress, and we were excited to welcome him to our delegation, where he was ready to make an even greater impact on our state and our nation. More than anything, Luke was a loving husband, father, brother, and son, and his family, like so many others who have been affected by this evil disease, need our prayers. I'm so proud of him. There's nothing sweeter than seeing your partner go for his dreams, and I could not be prouder tonight. Thanks. Letlow was 41 years old when he died and is survived by Dr. Julia Barnhill Letlow, a University of Louisiana at Monroe graduate, and his two children. Reporting in West Monroe, I'm Hunter Elise.